It's a bit late, but I'm here today with all of the things that I sewed up in February and a few of my favorite things. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. And I'm here today to talk you through the things that I got sewn up in the month of February and a few of my favorite things. Sorry that it's been a little while since I filmed my last video. Things have just been busy. Being a mum of a young baby is hectic and tiring and we just haven't had the time recently to film, edit, anything like that. I'm loving life with my baby boy, he's incredible. And today actually is Mother's Day in the UK. So it's really special. It's my first one as a mummy and I'm having a really lovely day. And he brings so much joy to our lives but it also doesn't leave an awful lot of time for filming YouTube videos. <laughs> but my mum has actually popped around to see us this afternoon, as it's Mother's Day. So she's just spending a little bit of time with Taylor and I've come upstairs to film a little video for you. I'm wearing the Wanda Wrap dress from Wardrobe By Me. And I actually made this when I was eight months pregnant and it fits me perfectly now as well because it's made out of viscose jersey. So it's very, flexible so it fit big bump in and it's gone back down <laughs> for my no longer big bump and it's also got the belt detail around the middle so I can cinch it in as well so I'm really loving wearing this today I thought it'd be nice to put on a pretty dress as it was Mother's Day. In the background as well on the mannequin you can see a new jumper that I've just made recently. It's from a pattern from By Graziella Fabrics. They've just released a few sewing patterns and this is their Raglan sweater. And they actually sent me that pattern and the fabric to make it as part of the promotion. So I'll be sharing that on Instagram very soon and that'll be in next month's makes video. So I did manage to get a few things sewn up this month that I wanted to share with you, starting with the Shona romper. I did this as part of a pattern test and it's a pattern from Pipe Dream Patterns and Workhorse Patterns. They worked on it together. It was like a collaboration. And I just saw this and their tester call out. I don't do many pattern tests. I find the time schedule and the deadline quite stressful. <laughs> so, you know, I don't do many, but this one really caught my eye. I loved version one, which is the shorts with the long sleeved top. Yeah, it's a romper, <laughs> but it's got long sleeves. It's got a snap placket down the front and it's then got little shorts. So I just loved the look of this and I wanted to test it. So I did. Just before I carry on, I'm gonna try something new today, which recently in my videos, I've been trying to give all of the sizing information, but I'm gonna pop all of that in the description box down below. So if you could let me know what you prefer, would you rather me talk through all of the sizing information in the video? So what sizes the patterns are available in, the smaller size, the larger size, the different measurements, or would you rather that's just popped in the description box? Please let me know and I'll try and go with the majority. But for today, I'll pop it down there and if you want to see what sizes all of the patterns are available in, you can check it out down below. So for this pattern test, I used a cotton jersey that I'd got from Felicity Fabrics. It's a lovely leopard print and I thought it would be perfect and make a really cute romper. I loved testing this. The instructions were really great. Even the snap placket, which I was expecting to be quite fiddly, wasn't as tricky as I thought. And it came together really well and fit fantastically. The only thing is, I think, I lengthened the front and the back bodice by half an inch, so an inch in total. And I don't actually think I needed to do that. When I make it again, which I think I probably will, I'll just take that out again. But otherwise the sizing on it was fine. I made a size medium in the upper part. So the bust area and the shoulders and the arms were all a size medium. And I graded out to a large at the waist and hip and the sizing came up really great. It's so comfortable as well. And I know you might think, if you're wearing that for bed in the middle of the night, will it be awkward for going to the toilet? But it just snaps down the front, so actually it comes off pretty easily. It's also really handy for me for breastfeeding Taylor as well in the night. I really enjoy making that, and it's a really cute pattern. It comes in three different versions, I think. At the time when I tested it, it came in two versions, but then they added a sneaky third version after feedback from the testing group. So it can be made into a nighty now as well, rather than just a romper. 
The next thing I got sewn up was the Deer and Doe Neige sweater. I've made this before in a funky brightly coloured animal print sweatshirt fabric and this time I used some Sea with Six French Terry in black and black and white so I combined different fabrics together to make this. I actually filmed this for so long which I know I've been saying will be up soon and it will. I just need to film the voiceover for it but like I said at the start of the video I'm finding it difficult to find the time to do filming for YouTube at the moment so that so long is coming I promise. <laughs> soon hopefully. With this I made a size 44 at the bust and the waist and I graded out to a size 46. I probably didn't need to do that but I just wanted to give myself a little bit of extra room in that area. I love this sweater, I love the sleeve detail so the sleeve is made up of three different parts and then a cuff on the end rather than just being a single sleeve piece so it makes a really interesting shape. It's a cropped style sweater but I actually made the lengthened version so it comes in two versions one's cropped and one's a bit longer I made the cropped sweater but with the length of the standard sweater <laughs> if that makes sense and it still came out quite cropped on me so just bear that in mind if you're thinking of making this it is a really straightforward so in the sew along I do go through some hints and tips for working with knit fabrics and some different things that I did along the way maybe differing from the pattern instructions slightly so do look out for that when it does come out but I would recommend this pattern it's just a bit different and a bit more interesting than your standard jumper pattern. The next thing I made was my very first Friday pattern company Adrienne blouse. I don't know why it's taken me so long to make this pattern this has been huge in the sewing community. It's a very well-loved pattern very statement with the amazing sleeves but I've just never been interested in it really and then just something recently has made me really fancy it so I decided to make it as part of the Pigeon Wishes pink and red party over on Instagram. I used a cotton jersey that I got from Sew Me Sunshine in a pink colour with dark pink or red spots and then it's got some little gold spots as well and I absolutely love it. I love 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 this pattern. As I say I don't know why it took me so long, the construction was so straightforward, it took no time at all to make and it's just so statement and effective while being quite a simple design. The size I made was a size large at the bust and the waist and I graded out to a size extra large and then I also added a couple of inches to the length of it because when I looked at the pattern pieces at the start they looked like it would come up quite short so I lengthened it however after making it I decided that I'm going to wear it tucked in like I tried it on tucked into jeans and I just loved the look of it so I feel like there's too much fabric now underneath my jeans because I wear high-waisted jeans so next time I am actually going to take that length out again and just make it at the standard length and with this version I might actually shorten it a little bit because every time I wear it I'm going to wear it tucked in so therefore I don't need that extra fabric. But if you haven't made the Adrienne I would highly highly recommend it. It's possibly one of my favourite patterns now. I've already got another one which is part way through construction. So next I made two of the same garment and this was for another pattern test. Again it was one where I just saw the tester call out and I saw the design and absolutely fell in love with it. So this is the Wow Ruffle Jumper pattern from Studio Jepson and it's an amazing dropped shoulder relaxed fit sweater with this amazing ruffle detail at the shoulders and it's just yeah it's just an amazing design and you've got gathering at the sleeve cuff as well so it's got quite roomy voluminous sleeves. I really love it. So I made one version which was my first version in a French terry from the Makers Merchant. So this is just a plain teal coloured French terry and then ribbing for the cuffs and the neckband and the hemband. Love this version, really plain and simple but statement at the same time. And then because I loved it so much I made a second version in a cotton jersey which I got from Sew Me Sunshine and it's from Pigeon Wishes fabric but being sold through Sew Me Sunshine and I love this version as well. I used the stripes in different directions on the ruffles and the neckband and the cuffs and the hemband just to add a bit of detail 
and I'm really happy with this version. With both versions I made a size 16, just a straight size 16 and that came up really well. I'm really happy with it, I would highly recommend this pattern. Again it's not just your standard jumper, it's got some elevated details and she's also now released it as a child's pattern as well so you could be matching mummy and child if you like. <laughs> The child's version doesn't start until age two though, so that's why I haven't bought it for Taylor just yet. <laughs> so you can make it without the ruffles, just make it as a plain drop shoulder jumper if you prefer. Right, and on to the last two things that I made in February, and possibly two of my favourite things I have ever made. So if you watched my Make Nine sewing plans video, you'll know that I wanted to sew some active wear this year. I like being active, I do crossfit when the gyms are open and I therefore wear a lot of active wear so I really wanted to have a go at making my own and I put it in my plans for this year but hadn't really done anything about it and then I was in touch with Wattle and Slate who are a custom fabric business and they sell their fabric in rounds and each round they have a group of strike sewists that receive some fabric and sew something up to help with the promotion for that round. So I was in touch with them and was offered the chance to be a strike sewist for their most recent round. And I was offered a meter of the most beautiful active wear fabric I've ever seen. It's an amazing agate design by a lady, a female run business called Agate and Air. And she designed this specifically for Wattle and Slate and it's just the most beautiful fabric. So I had a meter of that to play with. I also had some black lycra in my stash already that I bought recently with the thought of making some active wear. So I thought let's do it. I need to make some active wear to promote this fabric that I've been given and I had about a week in which to do it. It was a really quick turnaround. So I already had the patterns that I wanted to use which were the green style creations, power sports bra and the tempo tights. So I made a start and loved the process of making them and they weren't actually as difficult to make as I thought. Now I do have a cover stitch machine as you know you can see it just behind there <laughs> on the sofa. It still hasn't been switched on so I didn't actually use my cover stitch machine to make this active wear because I had such a tight deadline I didn't have time to get to know my cover stitch machine to then use it for this project. I just used my normal sewing machine and my overlocker. So for the tempo tights I decided to combine the two fabrics so you can see there's different panels in this pattern and I combined the wattle and slate fabric with the black lycra that I got from good fabric so I just combined them so I had a little play around with which bits I wanted to be which fabric and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I don't have the size and information here I can't remember what size I made but I will put it down below and the sizing I thought came out really well so when I first tried them on after I made them I was really happy with the sizing I thought they were good they were compressive because you want leggings to be tight you don't want them to be baggy or fall down so I thought I'd done a really good job on the sizing but when we went out to take the photos we went on quite a long walk and I did a little bit of running to have my photos taken and I did start to notice they were a little bit roomy at the waist and I would prefer them to be a little bit tighter but it wasn't until I was being active in them that I noticed that. Now in this pattern there is the option of putting in clear elastic into the waistband. I didn't do that, I opted not to and I kind of wish I did now because that probably would have added just the security that I wanted. So I am actually thinking of unpicking the waistband and adding that elastic in or taking the waistband off and making a new waistband in a smaller size because I do have some fabric left. So I probably will do one of those two options in order to just make them the perfect fit for me. Now the Power Sports bra, I'm so happy with this. I love, love, love this sports bra. I'm really happy with the sizing. So you measure your under bust and your bust to give you the different measurements that you need to choose your size and that's really great because I think it helps you to get a really accurate size on this pattern. So my sizing brought me out in a cup size E and a band size 32 and then you've got loads of different options as well for the back. So you've got crisscross straps, straight straps, racer back, keyhole back, loads of different options that you can go for. I like the crisscross detail which is what I went for. I thought it would be really fiddly to make but it wasn't. It was actually pretty straightforward 
and I just really enjoy the process of sewing this up. So I'm really, really happy with my sports bra and I don't think I'll ever buy a shop-bought sports bra again. I'll be making my own from now on. So that is everything that I got sewn up in February, which I feel is quite a lot considering it's a short month. I think I did quite well. So I'm really happy with the things that I made. Please let me know down below which of those are your favourites. If you've got any specific questions about any of those garments, about making them or whatever, please do just let me know down below and I'll try my very best to answer you. So a few of my favourite things recently. First of all is a TV series. This is a series from ITV I believe but it's also on Netflix at the moment so seasons one to three are on Netflix. I think they're actually removing them next month so if you want to watch them you'll need to be quite quick but it's a TV series called Unforgotten so it's a British crime drama and the concept is at the start of the series a body is found from many many years ago and then you follow the lives of some different characters who all end up being involved somehow or a suspect in the death of the person whose body was found. And we've been loving this. Me and Sam have been watching it every night recently. We watched series one a long time ago and then we've just finished series two yesterday and we started on series three as well. It's one of those where if you say, I'll just watch one episode before bed, the end of the episode ends on such a cliffhanger that you have to watch the next episode and then you end up staying up too late and being too tired the next day. But it's really gripping, I would highly recommend it. I think series four is actually currently on ITV at the moment. Yeah, so series one, two and three are on Netflix and then series four is currently on ITV and you can watch it on ITV player or catch up, whatever it is. An Instagram account that I've been loving recently is an account called Made With Love Scrunchies. So I discovered this account through another Instagram account, The Bright Blooms, which is Atia. And she had posted in her stories about Made With Love Scrunchies. Atia had sent some scrap fabrics from her dressmaking projects to Made With Love Scrunchies. They then made up some scrunchies, sold them, and then donated a percentage of the profits to a charity, I think it was a food bank. And I just really loved this idea. It was like a sustainable scrunchies thing that they had going on with the scraps of dressmaking fabric. And I thought, what a great idea. So I added them and I got in touch with them and said, I've got lots of scraps of fabric that you're welcome to if you would like them. And what is so special about this account is that it's run by a 12 year old girl. So it's a 12 year old, schoolgirl that's spending all of her free time making these scrunchies and selling them and then donating part of the profits to charity which I just think is brilliant. So I sent a big parcel with some fabrics to her so she'll be making some scrunchies with those soon and then I had some scraps left over from some yellow fabric that I'd been cutting out a project in because March is Endometriosis Awareness Month and Jess from So What If I Sew is running an Instagram challenge called Sew Yellow for Endo. So you sew a yellow garment, you share it on the 20th of March, you donate to Endometriosis UK. It's all to raise awareness around endometriosis. So I'd suggested to made with love scrunchies that I could send her my leftover yellow fabric if she fancied making some scrunchies and selling them and donating to Endometriosis UK and that's exactly what she's done which is just so wonderful. So I would highly recommend you going and checking out her page, we'll link to it down below. Yeah she's just doing amazing things and she's 12 years old, I just think it's absolutely fantastic. So do go and check her out and show her some love as well. My next favourite is something that I treated myself to. So I've been saving up for a while now, things like my ad revenue from YouTube and some other bits of money here and there and I managed to treat myself to a very special laptop. I haven't had my own laptop, the only computer I had access to was my work laptop but that's for work purposes and then Sam's computer but I haven't had my own ever so I treated myself to a MacBook Air and I absolutely love it. And you'll notice that it is purple and that's because Sam ordered me a skin for the front and the back 
from D Brand and it came all the way from Toronto and Sam insisted on getting this one or from this company because he said they were the best out there. He'd done lots of research. I just looked on Amazon and found a cheap one and sent it to him as a link and he said no no no. If you're going to do it you have to do it properly. You have to get one that will really protect this because it's a really special piece of equipment so he treated me to it and it just it's so beautiful I love that lilac color and it's my baby I love it so much so it's been really lovely having my own laptop being able to do my own things on there do some blogging I'm hopefully going to be doing a few more bits here and there for different businesses so I am looking for freelance opportunities, you know, writing for different businesses or maybe some social media work, that sort of thing, like moving forwards. And this is just going to be ideal for those purposes. <laughs> so yes, I love my MacBook Air. It's very special and it feels good that I know that I've worked hard for that and I've saved up for it and I've been able to invest that money that I've saved up in something that's going to be really useful for my life. <laughs> a couple more favourites to mention. One is a YouTube channel that I've been watching quite a lot recently and that is Elle and the Stitches. She only started her YouTube channel fairly recently, in recent months, and I really like the start of her YouTube channel because she introduces it by saying that she's Elle and she is a beginner sewer. So everything that she talks about is sort of from her perspective as a fairly new sewer. She also talks a lot about sewing on a budget. So she's got a little video series of ideas for getting fabric and patterns and that sort of thing on a budget, which is great. So if you don't follow Elle already, you really should. She's got a lovely personality. She's a fantastic sewer. For being a beginner, she's really accomplished and she makes some gorgeous things. And she just comes across really nicely in her videos and I love watching her. So go and check her out if you don't already. And the last favorite I've got to share with you, I don't know how I've kept this for so long because it's a food favorite. Sam ordered me a box of delicious treats in February for Valentine's Day and I demolished them within a few days. So he ordered me another box for Mother's Day and this arrived three days ago and I haven't touched it because I wanted to keep it A for Mother's Day but also mainly to show you in this video. So it's a box of treats that came through the post and the business is called Crumbs. It's Crumbs by Cara. So she's got this lovely little card and this one actually says, Mummy, Happy Mother's Day, lots of love, Taylor Apollo, which is so lovely. So then you have got, oh, let's bring that into shot. Got some lovely tissue paper with a nice sticker there as well. Another little card, a little business card. And a box of delicious treats. So there are lots of different options that you can choose from to fill your box, but you can get three items in your box. I went for, or Sam went for, Taylor Apollo. <laughs> Taylor went for chocolate brownie because he knows mummy loves chocolate brownie. He also chose Biscoff fudge which is just so nice. <laughs> and then last time I got marshmallows and this time I've got chocolate pretzels and I'm so excited about them. So it's just such a lovely treat to get through the post, a gorgeous box of goodies. Now I've had a little look and I know how much this is so I wanted to share that with you. It's £12.50 for this box and that includes postage as well in the UK, which is just, I think, amazing and it's so delicious and it's handmade and it's all so tasty. So I'll leave links to Cara's Instagram down below and that's how you can get in touch with her in order to order your own box, which are perfect as a treat for yourself or a friend or family member, anyone. So that's everything for today. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about the things that I got sewn up in February and a few of my favorite things of the month. I'm now going to go and make a start on these delicious treats. I don't know which one to go for first. It might have to be the Biscoff fudge because I'm a big fan. 
So thank you so much for watching. I would love you to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me to share the video out to more people, especially as I haven't posted a video in so long, YouTube might have forgotten me, which would be really sad. <laughs> so please do give it a thumbs up. And like I asked earlier, I would love to hear from you down below. What's your favorite thing I've sewn this month? Do you have any questions about any of the things that I've made? please just let me know and I'll try my very best to answer. If you don't already, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and be here <laughs> on a regular basis. I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well and happy sewing. Bye. And I wear the, huh. so you've got cross. Uh. If you don't already, I'd love you to subscribe. Uh, <laughs> God. Actually, I'm gonna have one of these. Mmm. They're good. They're really good.